Hello, I'm Carol Wantrot with Comorgan. This video is on the KAS IDE Structured Text Editor and is part of the Getting Started with KAS Programming Series. The Structured Text Editor is one of the five PLC languages supported by the KAS IDE. The editor is a language-sensitive text editor following the IEC 61131-3 standard. To create a new project, in the Structured Text language, click on Programs in the Project Explorer. Then right-click on New Programs, select ST, and name the program. You will see a new tab open in the workspace. A Structured Text program is a list of statements. Example, Position Correction equals Present Position minus calculated position. Each statement describes an action and must end with a semicolon. Spaces have no meaning in structured text. You can insert blank characters and line breaks where you want in the program text. This compiles the same as When hitting enter at the end of a line, you are prompted to define all items presently not defined in the dictionary, including type, where, and a description. By default, new variables will be added as local variables to the specific program you are in. This can be changed in the dialog box. Another method to add the new variable to the dictionary is to place the cursor on the variable and hit the control space keys. Next, one of the new project templates using structured text will be open to go over basic syntax. This template uses the PLC Open Motion Engine. There is also a starter template using structured text and the Pipe Network Motion Engine. Syntax coloring is black for variables and operators, blue for reserved language keywords, gray for constant expressions, and green for comments. The color will automatically appear when the editor recognizes them. For example, when creating an if statement, the code automatically changes colors as it is typed in. All the function and function blocks in the function block library as well as all the parameters in the dictionary can be used with the Structured Text Editor. By default, program code is scanned or executed top to bottom each EtherCAT cycle. For example, in this program, the PLC code in the application is scanned once every EtherCAT update cycle, a thousand microseconds or one millisecond. Each program in the PLC code can be updated at a slower rate at a multiple of the base EtherCAT update cycle. This is set by right-clicking on the program in the project tree and selecting Cycle. Setting a 5 here means that the main program will execute once every 5 EtherCAT update cycles or scan once every 5 milliseconds. When compiling, if there is a syntax error, it will be shown in the compiler output screen. Clicking on the error moves the cursor to right where the error has occurred.
When running the project, structured text programs animate showing actual values Changes to variable values can be made directly in the code by highlighting and right-clicking. Comments can be added in structured text to document the code. Two ways to add comments are, one, after a double forward slash, this will make all characters at it and on the same line a comment. And two, between an asterisk parentheses combination. Comments are not compiled and do not get sent down to the KAS controller when a compiled program is downloaded. The library contains functions and function blocks for many different types of operations. Functions and variables can be entered in by typing, as has been shown, or dragged and dropped from the function block library or the dictionary. Structured text function blocks are instantiated when a unique name is given to the instance. For example, a timer named delay time 1 will be added. It will be placed in the code to start once the motion engine is up and finish 5 seconds later. Note that dragging in the timer shows the data type for the inputs. In structured text, the syntax to read and output of the instance of the function block is function block name dot output. The timer function block has two outputs. The code to read both the timer's elapsed time and done outputs would be as follows.
Structured text also supports conditional statements that are useful in making decisions in the code and iterating through sections of code. As shown in the help file, the supported types are if then else, case, for next, while, repeat until, on do, and wait. If statements have been widely used in many IDE applications. Case statements provide a way to methodically proceed through code in a scanned environment. Here's an example from a winding machine control that uses a case statement to move through each step in the motor winding process. For next, while, repeat until, and wait can also be used. When using these, care must be taken to make sure conditions will not exist that will add significant time to program execution. On do and wait statements are not available when structured text code is embedded inside an SFC program. The structured text editor supports shortcut keys for many operations. Shortcut keys can shorten the time to edit and debug according to declared variables and data types. Pressing Control Space or alternatively Control J activates the auto completion. If you use autocomplete and there is no match for a variable name in the dictionary, pressing enter will open the variable creation box where you can define a new variable. The editor's find and replace can be used to locate all places in the program where a variable or function is located as well as a find all which lists all places where the item is found in all programs and subprograms as well as in the dictionary. The structured text editor contains debug features shown in other KS videos including watch window, oscilloscope, breakpoint, and online change.